Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Now, if you have watched my other FPS boost videos, then some of these things will not be new to you. I'm going to include these old FPS guides in this video too, so stay tuned if you haven't seen my old guide. I'm also going to be making many useful Battleground guides throughout this month, guys. So make sure to subscribe if you guys want to be notified on when my guides will be out. Lastly, I have a second YouTube channel that you can submit your Battleground clips to and maybe be featured. If this guide has helped in any way, maybe check it out to support me further. Anyways guys, let's get started. First we are going to want to open up Steam and go to Player Unknown's properties and click on Set Launch Options. And then copy and paste the text from the description and paste it into the launch options and hit OK. Your FPS should improve. Alright guys, the next method is to configure a file. Alright, so go into your C drive, and then users, and then your main account, and then go to app data, then local, then TSL game, then saved, then config, then windows no editor, then edit the game user settings. Now copy the method 2 text from the description and replace it with the scalability groups section, and save the file. Alright, so the next method is to make sure your computer is running on all its cores. First we are going to visit control panel, then click system and security, and then system, then advanced system settings, then click the advanced tab, then click performance, then advanced, and then hit the change button. Now from here you want to locate which drive you have installed battlegrounds on. If you have only one drive, then that's probably the drive. If the drive is grayed out, then make sure the top box is unchecked. Now just select the drive and click the no paging file checkbox and just hit the ok button and you're done. The next method is to change your windows theme to the classic theme. Go to control panel then appearance and personalization and then select windows classic. It might look a little ugly but it's going to help improve your fps guys. The next method is to download game booster. Visit the first link in google and then download it. Once you have downloaded Game Booster, register an account and log in. Then click the Boost tab and then click the Boost Now button before running any games. The next method is to download Park Control. Visit the link in Google and then download the 32-bit or 64-bit depending on your computer. You can check by visiting the Control Panel and then System. Once downloaded, make sure to set it to High Performance and then disable all the options and Apply. The next method is to switch to all cores. Alright, so click start, then in the search bar type run, and then in the next bar type msconfig, and then click enter. Then go to boot and then advanced options, and then click the number of processors, and then set it to 8 and apply the settings. Now you might have less than 8, so set it to whatever the maximum is. The last method is simple, it's about using CCleaner, this will remove all those files that are junk and hidden on your computer. Visit Google and search for CCleaner. Once you have it installed, click analyze and then click run cleaner. That's it guys, hope you guys enjoyed this simple guide. I hope it can at least help some of you out. It might not help all of you guys out, so sorry if this doesn't do much. I try to help as many as I could with these things that I know. Also if you follow me on Twitch and subscribe to me, I'll be doing a YouTube or Twitch stream of this game pretty soon. Anyways guys, make sure to follow or sub if you would like to hang out in the stream room with me. Anyways guys, see you till the next one.